Melt index is a measure of viscosity. It tells us a lot about the personality of a resin. It's measured by test method ASTM B1238. I'm going to explain what the test is and what some of the values mean. This is the apparatus here. It's very simple. It consists of a chamber which... That's going to be really hot. I know. It's 190C, which you pour the resin into, and then you put the weight on top. It's 2.16 kilogram weight. And then you measure how much plastic comes out of this hole at the bottom. Can we get a tight on that? So what happens is after this amount of plastic melts in about six minutes, after we measure and cut off with a razor blade how much plastic comes out at the bottom after ten minutes. This is a schematic of the actual test methods here. Now your garden variety polyethylene film resin, we call it general purpose, is about a two melt or a two melt index, which means that you're going to get two grams out of the bottom of the aperture after 10 minutes. If you have a melt index of less than one, maybe you've heard of a fractional melt, that means that you get less than one gram in 10 minutes. When a new family of resins arrived on the scene in the late 70s, starting with Mitsui 7000F, we called them high molecular weight resins, very viscous. So what happened was we started to get values that were ridiculously low, like 0.05. That's the target for things like the DuPont Conoco 5005, Herx 9255, that whole family of resins. So in order to get a meaningful sample, what they had to do was increase the weight. They went from 22.16 kilograms to 21.6 kilograms to get a more meaningful uh, sampling. Now you know everything there is to know about melt index.